Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to show you the top five rookie car salesman tips. Let's crush it. Take a pen, take a piece of paper right now. If you're a veteran in the game 20 years, take some notes you're about to learn. If you're brand new, just getting in the business, or you're about to get in, take some notes. This is gonna change your life. Number one, mindset and attitude. Number one, the mindset. The mindset's probably the most important thing. No one's gonna be selling anything without being on fire here. Write this down. They can buy, they came to buy, and they will buy as long as I do my job. Write that down. I want you to think about this right now. One one of the biggest things that you get with a lot of veterans is they prejudge everybody. Everybody that pulls up, they think they, they know what their car's worth, what they owe on it, if they got good credit, if they don't, if they'll take that car, if they won't, if, they'll, if they're a buying today or if they're waiting next year, if they're tire kicking. Man, they know it all. They know it all so well, but look at them. Are they breaking the records in the country? Are they crushing it? Are they the number one salespeople in the world? Probably not. How can you do it? This is your time. Number one, it's your mindset. You believe that every single person that calls or that comes in in person is a buyer and is ready to buy as long as you do your job. So that's going to be the mindset part. Secondly, let's talk about attitude. The attitude that goes with it when you meet somebody, the first thing you got to have is the best dang attitude in the world. Write this down. People don't have to prove to you that they can buy before you give them your best. Man, write that down. Give them your best right out the gate. Run out there, great energy, great fire. It meant passion in your eyes. You love what you do. You're brand new, cool. Let them know you're brand new. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm brand new. My name is Andy. Guys, don't beat me up today because I don't know nothing. I'm here to serve you at the highest level. Woo! They're like, dude, this guy's got a good attitude. He don't know nothing. I'm okay with that. I want to tell you this. I told people I was brand new the first two years in the business. My GM told me, he goes, Andy, you can't keep Keep telling people you're brand new. You got salesmen in the month plaques all over your wall. I said, I know. I just love being brand new. I never want to be a veteran in this business. I want to stay brand new forever because all the veterans, all they did was sit around in their office, grumpy, wah, 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 complain, crying, and why. And by the way, if that's not you and you're a veteran, great job. But if you look around and you're in your dealership right now, look at all the cubicles in the offices, right? How many people do you see right now studying and training and wanting to be the best like you? Probably not very many of them. All right, guys, number two, this is going to be work ethic. Top two right here, work ethic. You need to be known in your company for the hardest worker. Listen, time and experience, don't care about it. If you're in the dealership, you need to be known for the work ethic. People need to know you for your relentless work ethic. Every day, you need to be known for your work ethic. You're not over at the coffee pot talking to John about the football game last night. When you go into work, you trade your time for money. Money, it's time to trade your time for three times as much money. Every day, go up and get better. Yes, every day, increase your work ethic. Every single day. You need to be known for that. Remember this, what people say about you when you're not around is who you are. When I first started the dealership, I was 18 years old. I went in, I didn't know anything, and by the way, I didn't even deserve to have that great job. So you know what, since I didn't have the skill, I didn't deserve to be there, I decided I was just gonna outwork everybody, and if I was known to be the worst salesman in the state, that's fine, but I was going to be known to being the hardest worker in the state in that dealership. And working hard got me better a hundred times faster. And plus, my managers, even if I wasn't the best at certain things, they respected my work ethic. How many people do you know right now that you respect for how hard they work? Get that title for the hardest worker in the dealership. That's going to be rookie tip number two. All right, guys, number three. I feel like this is very important. Write this down. It doesn't matter how how much money I have to go buy clothes. It doesn't matter. You can go to the Goodwill with $5 and dress yourself decent. I assure you, every single month, take a little bit of your check and put it back into your clothes fund, okay? Put it into the fund that you have set up to buy yourself some new clothes. Get yourself a nice belt. Get yourself some nice shoes. Get yourself some nice slacks. Get yourself a nice blazer, a nice dress coat. I know in some dealerships, you guys get to wear polos. I'm okay with that. Make it press make it sharp, make it look nice. If you had $10,000 right now, you're going to invest it with somebody. You took that money, you walk into the investor's office, you look over at the guy, he, his, his hair on his face is all over the place, scraggly, doesn't look like he brushed his teeth, he's got eye crusties in, his hair's not fixed right, and he's got a wrinkled shirt.
dirt up on. You're gonna trust him with your 10 grand? Even if he's a good speaker, would you trust him? No. You're gonna say, hey man, <laughs> appreciate it. Thanks for taking the appointment today. Whoop. You're gonna go over. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find somebody that you feel like who looks like a business person. You can sit down with and have a conversation with and feel comfortable spending or giving your money to. That's your customers. They need to feel that way with you. So, time and experience doesn't mean nothing. You can start dressing nice today, I assure you. So, rookie tip number three is going to be dress for success. Don't dress for the job you have, dress for the job you want. Don't dress for the paycheck you're making, dress for the paycheck you want to be making and you will be making soon. All right, guys, rookie tip number four, choose a mentor. This is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Guys, I'm 42 years old at making this video. When I was 18 years old, I looked to the left, looked to the right, looked around and tried to find somebody that I could emulate, somebody that I could be like. I could look at the way they spoke, the way that they talked, the way that they sounded, the way that they dressed, the way that they worked, their strategies and the way they maneuvered uh, when negotiating, closing techniques, word tracks. I, I tried to find it and I couldn't find it in my dealership. It didn't exist. So I found a guy, his name was Grant Cardone. We're going back 23 years ago, 23. And I chose a mentor 23 years ago that at 18 years old, I watched this man who seemed like a good speaker. He seemed like he could convince people to do things that he wanted him to do. He was fired up. He was positive. He had a great attitude. He dressed nice, had great work ethic. He had the things that I felt like that I needed to be successful. So I studied him in every single one of his courses I took. Every time there was a live event that he would go and do training at, I would fly there and be there. I studied every single day to make sure that I could elevate my skill and compete up. Write that down. Your goal as a rookie is to compete up. Your goal is as a rookie not to compete with other rookies. You want to take out the veterans, take out everybody in your dealership, and guess what? Choose a mentor that will show you how to get that skill fast. And by the way, write this down. This is very important. My mentors, my mentors, this is me talking to me, my mentors in life are people who have gone where I want to go. Does that make sense? Choose a mentor that has gone where you want to go. A person right now, I broke the record $716,000 in one year selling cars. If you're wanting to make a lot of money, have a great life. It's very easy to do. Choose a mentor who's actually done it. Study, follow, take their courses, train, self-invest. Guess what? You will get there a hundred times faster. Most people will never get there because they don't have anybody that they're emulating. There's nobody in their mind that they want to be like. And by the way, when you choose a mentor, understand this. It's not about being a second rated version of you. It's about being a first rated version of yourself, but studying this person to death so you can understand number one, how they do everything that they do and how you can do everything that they do in your own way or just like them. There were certain things that when I was studying my mentors in life, I did exactly what they did to the T. I copied it. It worked. Why wouldn't I take it? I was watching a conference with Tony Robbins the other day. He said, guys, success leaves clues. It's so simple. The people that have made history before us, that have done the things that we want to do, they did it and gave us the tips on how they did it so that we could do it. But so many people don't just follow that simple process. They sit on the couch, they complain, they have the victim mentality, they feel helpless, and they don't think that they can have that that can happen for them. I don't want that to happen to you. What I want you to believe is right now you can be the next record breaker in the United States on income 100% sure change your entire life but you have to make a decision. Number one choose a mentor. Number two study him daily. Courses train live anything and everything that person has attack it and train relentlessly. All right guys top tip number five guess what it is you know it train relentlessly. I just said it at the end of number four. What does the term relentlessly mean? I feel like some of you guys hear the term train. You're like, oh man, I watched a couple YouTube videos. Listen, there's a difference between training and really training. Look, I'm going to explain this to you, okay? Kobe Bryant. We're going to take Kobe Bryant, okay? Bless his heart. Most amazing man in the world. Mamba mentality. Amazing. 11 years old. 11 years old. Doesn't score one basket in his league that summer. Didn't score one basket. He was the worst player in the league. Guess what happened? Talked to his dad. His dad said, son, we're going to out train them. It's real simple. Most people at your age that are training, that are playing basketball, they're playing for two hours a day, twice a week. That's four hours. Listen, Kobe, we're going to train for two hours a day and we're going to do it six days a week. Then they went to three hours a day, seven days.
days a week. By the time he was 14 years old, he was labeled the number one player in the state. I want you to think about it. From 11 to 14, two years passed, he went from not being able to make a basket to being the number one in the country. Imagine this, the number one in the state, the number one against everybody who played at, at 14 years old. As an adult right now, I want you to think about it. You got your family, your future, kids, wife, husband. I'm not sure what it is that is driving you to want to be great. Not go just get a job, but literally change your entire life, okay? You have to train relentlessly. I want you to write this down. Your obsession, your obsession, write it down. My obsession towards training or my lack of obsession towards training is how I feel about winning. Listen, I want you to write that down. My obsession or my lack of obsession that I have towards training is how I feel about winning. I am totally and completely obsessed with training and I've been obsessed my entire life. And if you would like a great mentor to show you how to get what you want in life, be relentless about training every day, not some days, every day. And I want you to think about this. If winning, if winning, it is a person to be. Winning is a person. If winning was in front of you right now, does winning recognize you? Are you obsessed with training? If you're obsessed with training, winning will be attracted to you. Winning will want to be with you. And guess what? You will win. Guys, these are the top five tips for a rookie sales pro. I'm going to explain this to you. If right now you're wanting to level up, shoot me a text. 918-210-0254. Don't be afraid and say, man, I'm real busy. I ain't got time to text Andy. Got a lot of stuff going on. Really? Like what? Let me ask you this. What are you struggling with? What do you want to get better at? What is the hole in your game? What do you want to excel at? Look at your year to date right now. Is it 100, 200, 300, 400, etc.? Is there more potential in you? Is there another level? If there is, you believe it. Shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. Let me know what I can help you with. Let's kill it.